Hola mis amores, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Ahora voy a hacer un get ready with me. I'm gonna do a get ready with me video. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, yesterday I went out with someone and then they were asking me like about like bad dates I've been on. And it gave me this idea of the worst date I've ever been on. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk about that. Because I've been on a lot of bad dates. But the one that I could think of at the moment is this one that I'm about to tell you. So like, uh, you know what I'm saying? And I have, I'm going out. So might as well do the video while I am doing my makeup and stuff. Um, I'm breaking out right now. <laughs> I don't kind of want to cry. But you know what? We're going to make it work. And I'm going to make myself look cute. And we'll be fine. So yay. All right. Um, I'm not even going to fucking look at the camera this whole time. But you know, y'all are here for the story. Y'all aren't here for the fucking production the book but yes i'm gonna tell y'all the worst day i've ever been on this was this year um it was around spring spring was like literally the worst fucking time for me i don't even know why but i met this man on tinder and y'all already know tinder is just the worst the worst it doesn't change for any country it's the worst so i went ahead messaged him and, and I got his line and we started talking and then we decided to meet up like within the next few days so we hunt like we decided on a place like to where to meet which was in front of like the H&M in Shijo so like I was literally just like okay it's gonna be like literally every day that I go on like we always meet there so I'm just like whatever so I get there I wait for a little bit and he comes like he comes and he just looks like how he does in the picture like very average but he was tall he's very tall so i was just like wow a man nice so we decide to go to like kind of like an izakaya sort of thing and of course like he's very nice he just seems very nice and polite so far but you know when those guys are like real i'm looking for shit right now i'm sorry but you know when guys are like overly nice and you're like there's something fucking wrong with you because this is just, you're, you're doing too much right now, nigga. Like, you're doing too much. So, he was ordering, like, a bunch of food. And I was like, nigga, you better be paying for this shit. I ain't got no money. So, like, of course, he was like, oh, yeah. He's like, get it whatever you want. Like, it's on me. And I'm like, bet. So, I just get, like, fancy drinks and stuff. Because I'm like, why not? So, we're talking. It's kind of like, I don't feel, like, he just seems like a very, like, flat sort of, personality guy but i was like hey maybe he's just like shy it's the first date like let me give this dude a chance so he talked about how he just got back from china because he's half chinese and half japanese and i was like oh cool like that's cool and he's like yeah and he's like this is the first date i've been on and i'm like in like a while and i'm like oh like oh why is that like were you just like focusing on school or something and he's like no my girlfriend died and i was like Yeah, I was just like, oh, and I was like, oh my god, I'm like, so sorry, like, oh my, Jesus, like, that's a lot. And he starts joking about it, and I'm like, oh, fuck. And he's, like, explaining the whole thing about, like, how she, like, passed and stuff. And I was like, dude, why are you telling me this? And, like, obviously, I was, like, literally, like, uncomfortable. And I was just like, dude, what the fuck is happening? I was just like, oh my god. And I guess, like, he, ex like, he accepted accepted he like expected like some sort of like sympathy or something because he was just like yeah so now it's my first day and like, he's like you're so pretty and shit and i was just like okay like cool and at this point i was just like this nigga crazy because he just kept saying like really weird strange things and he was like oh you're black right and i'm like uh, obviously um <laughs> but he was just like oh so i hear black people like to have lots of sex and i was just like I do so but I was like no I was like no wh why what makes you think that and he's like oh because like black people are sexy and they have like better figures than like Japanese girls and I was like dude that's like you're gonna generalize like an entire race like that and I was like what the fuck so I was like nigga like I'm ready to go home I was like I'm tired so I try to finish up my drink and I'm like oh I'm gonna like yeah like let's head out let's get the check like let's go so we do and i'm just like uh, i'm gonna go home because like it's late and i was just like i'm not really i'm just like i'm just late 
And he's like, okay, let me walk you to the station. And I was like, um... I was like, fine, fine, fine. So he walks me to the station. And I'm like, okay, like, okay. <clears throat> and he's like, oh, I think we're going in the same direction. And I was just like, how do you even know which direction I'm going in the first place? And he's like, but let me just like, he was like, let me just go. And I was like, oh, okay. So we get on the train together and he's like holding my hand and stuff. And I was just like, oh, <laughs> oh, I was like, okay. Cause I was just uncomfortable. And you guys were like, oh my God, why did you lead him on when you like, he, you held his hand, like, of course, he deserves to fuck you. Y'all are gonna say that shit, I'm ready, but I was uncomfortable, and I was just like, I don't really know what the fuck. So I get to, like, my stop, and, like, it's the final stop, which is, like, the funniest thing, like, my old apartment, it's at the final stop. And I was just like, what the fuck? And he's like, oh, oh, like, he's like, let me just walk you home then, since we're at, like, the last thing, and I was like, uh, and I was like, okay, like, let's walk together. And he's like, should we get some drinks at like the family mart? And I was like, no, like, what do you mean? Like, you're not, like, what the fuck? That's fucking weird, nigga. Like, why you out here? You wildin' too much. And so we get to my house, and I was like, okay, bye. Like, bye, nigga. You fucking crazy ass, like, crazier than me and shit. And he's like, oh, can I come in? And I was like, oh, no. And he's like, oh, I was just gonna use the bathroom. And I was like, oh, use the bathroom, nigga. And I was like, uh, fuck. Like, there's different places you can use the bathroom, but why do you have to go to my house? But he was like, oh, just be like a second. And I was just like, whatever, okay, come in. So he puts his shit down in my fucking house. Puts his shit down in my house. He puts his shit down in my house. And I was just like, dude, why are you getting comfortable and shit? What the fuck? And he would like he goes, he does his thing in the bathroom, and then he comes out and he sits on my bed. This nigga sits on my bed. He sits on my bed. And I'm like, uh, I'm getting ready to go to sleep, so um, I think you should like head out. Like, you know, like I'm tired. You look tired. Everybody's tired. Get the fuck out of my house. So, um, he's like, oh no, like, wait. And I was like, oh my god, there's a fucking hair on me. And he was like, wait. He's like, I'm kind of like feeling you in like a way. And he's like, I'm really attracted to you. He's like, you're so beautiful. And like, your body. And I was like, uh. And I was like, oh shit, what's the number to the fucking Japanese police again? Because it's not 911. <laughs> And he start like, he's on my bed, like, sitting on my bed, and then I'm sitting on my bed, but, like, across from him, because I'm like, what the fuck? And so, ooh, he leans in, he's like, I want to kiss you. And I was like, no. <laughs> I was just like, uh, no. And he's like, why? And I'm like, because no. And he's like, I want to fuck. He literally said, like, I want to fuck. I was like, um, you're at the wrong house, nigga. This ain't the house. You came to the wrong address. You came to the wrong bitch. Because I am not the one you should be asking to fuck when you just told me all this fucking weird ass extra shit that is just straight up crazy. So I was just like, uh, no. And he's like, why? And I'm like, I was like, because I don't want to. And he's like, but why? And I was like, because I just don't want to. And he's like, am I ugly? And I'm like, I don't really want to say you are. But I was like, no. Like, I just don't. Like, why? Like, just no is no, dude. No means no. Why don't y'all niggas know that shit? No means no, nigga. What the fuck? Why you? Stop pressing on me. Like, don't do too much. Stop. Leave me alone. And so, he started getting offended, and he was getting mad, and I was like, oh my fucking god, no. Like, no means no, nigga, no. And at this point, I was, like, texting, I think I was texting my neighbor, and I was like, bitch, this nigga crazy. And, like, the window, I think the window was open, so she could hear shit. She could hear what's going on, and she was texting me, and she's like, do you want me to go, like, over there? Like, what the fuck? 
And I was like, I don't know. Like, I was, like, freaking out because I was like, oh, my God, what if this nigga tries to kill me? But I was just like, you wild. And I was like, what the fuck? It's like, I'm about to die in this motherfucker. And at this point, he starts, oh, my God, I just got through my eye. He starts, like, rubbing up on me. And I was like, oh, hell no. Hell no. Not today, bitch. Not today. I was like, no, 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 get the fuck. I was like, get the fuck out of my house. Get the fuck. At this point, I was mad because I was like, shit, I'm either about to die or other shit's about to happen to me. I was like, oh, hell no. Get the fuck out of my house, nigga. Get the fuck out of my house. Not today. And he's like, oh my God, you're such a bitch. And I was just like, uh-huh. so what? I don't want to die today. So he gets his shit. He leaves. And then he texts me. He literally texts me. And he's like, I had so much fun. How you have fun? What What do you mean, nigga? Like, what do you mean I had so much fun? What the? F- huh? And he's like, I want to see you again. The only bitch that you are going to see is your girlfriend if you don't leave me the fuck alone. Straight up, nigga. Straight the fuck up. I don't fuck with that shit. Leave me the fuck alone. Why can't niggas leave me alone? So more of the story here. Niggas on Tinder are really fucking crazy in every fucking country. But I feel like in Japan... The niggas here have no fucking home training and they don't know how to interact with women in general and they're just very strange and very awkward on the like for the most part for dudes that are trying to meet on like tinder oh my god this looks dark this nigga this shit dark this shit dark i'll fix it but this shit look dark this fucking pimple though oh it ruins the look like how you gonna do me like that how you gonna do me like that how you gonna do me like that i do my eyebrows next I do my other eyebrow. Y'all probably like, oh my gosh, she does her makeup so weird. But then I look amazing. So, like, what? what's tea, y'all? Like, what the fuck is good? You know what I mean? Like, the amount of fucking weird-ass experiences that I've had on Tinder so far have been... It's just... Oh, my God. You can never go out with someone normal. You always feel like you're going out with a normal person for, like, the first hour, and then weird shit starts happening... And you start, you kind of, you know when you let shit slide and you're just like, you know what, everyone's fucking weird. Everybody has like their own thing, you know. But no, no y'all, these niggas out here fucking crazy. These dudes, they think they could do anything to you. Like they think that they can just like fucking talk to you in any sort of way. They think they can fucking like treat you like shit. And they think that you're just like any, like this fucking walking fucking machine. And y'all are probably like, oh my god, but your videos, like your videos, bitch. What's, like, why can't y'all understand that there's a difference between, like, consent and then someone that's just, like, obsessed with fucking? Like, do you guys know what the difference is? And even if someone is obsessed with fucking, it's consensual. It's not like you'll fuck anything in sight. It's just like, dude, you're attracted to what you want and you get it. Like, you're a go-getter, bitch. Like, that's it. It doesn't mean anything. So, y'all really out here crazy. And yeah, dudes, like, shit, at least I'm out here looking fucking fabulous and fucking cute every day. I live my life cute every day of my life. And y'all are gonna stay mad about it, but that's okay. Overall, this is the look. You're like, oh my god, her bra showing. Oh my god. Okay, you guys, this is how I look. This is the day to day everyday look that I usually do because it's super cute and it's super easy and it's fast so yay we're done we look cute I look adorable thank you